Okay, on Tuesday morning, I'd like to be able to get access to something. This is going to have to go up to county council and, 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 and whatnot. I can't. Okay, I'm just, I want to get it on film. Okay. I'm being prosecuted by the Santa Clara County District Attorney for filming in a court file room. He clearly doesn't want me to know certain things. You're a former it's, reporter Susan, for the Mercury. Susan, you have to told me your CPRA request verbally. I have taken it down and we will start. No, I'm asking for access to the records, which is under the California Public Records Law. I don't have to wait 10 days. I want to know what records there are that I can get access to. Okay. And I have your information and I want to know Tuesday morning what I can see, what I can start going through because there's probably a lot of records. Okay, I'll talk to you Tuesday morning. Okay, thank you. This is Susan Bassey, and I'd like to thank the retired police officer who donated his time to do this graphic for my YouTube channel. Miss Rich, this is Sergeant Manny Rio here at the Family Justice Center. Can you please give me a call at your earliest convenience? 408 792 4322, that's my desk number. I need some direction. Uh, Miss Bassey is here, and Miss Bassey is being Miss Bassey, and I caught her on camera turning on her camera slash video function on her iPad. I can't confirm she's not recording or not, but she is acting very Miss Bassy-like. If you can please give me a call, we can get some direction from you, what you want me to do. Uh, I'd be really appreciated. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye. This is Susan Bassy. I want to take you on a local investigative audit because our team is looking into election fraud on a local level. As the rest of mainstream media focuses on Washington, D.C., we are focusing on what happens in local communities and we are particularly focused on the year 2018 in Santa Clara County, where the sheriff's race was taking place, the district attorney ran unopposed, and several supervisors were elected. The encounter you are about to see is called a non-confrontational encounter, and I use these when first asking for public records the first time. Agencies that cooperate usually produce records or give me access to them without questions asked. But when I get resistance or I get public information officers unwilling to go on camera, then I know I have a problem, as I did on this day. Hi, my name is Susan Bassey. Susan Bassey. I'm a local publisher. I'm also a um, investigative reporter. Okay. I've spent the more the afternoon at the Democratic Club, and I also have a number of sources that have given me some information, and so I'm following up. And they were a little overwhelmed with my Friday request, which I tried to get here sooner for, but um, I am looking for three things. Okay. First of all, this triggers this. And I filmed that because it, it is relevant to what I'm what I'm doing right now. I am working on a public records project. Okay. And obviously for the 2020 election, this is really important, talking about our local elections and what's going on. And one of my sources told me that when she registered at DMV this year for her driver's license, that DMV, she had been registered as a voter in the state for 40 years at the same address. She got one of the new IDs for her car, for her ID, her driver's license. And when she did, DMV sent her two voter packages under different names. So she is now one person registered at 
the same address where she's been for 40 years and they gave her an additional voting package under a different name. And when did she register? When, when this was, was in the last couple, in the last month. Okay. And so I'm aware of what her name is and one was, she goes by her middle name and so I don't know if that was the confusion, but there are two people with the same initial, same middle name, and same last name registered at the same address. Okay. And I'm concerned because of this is going on, um, you know, times however many people are getting a driver's license get leading up to the election. That could be padding a lot of um, voter registrar. Uh, okay. So I'm concerned about so, that, and I want to investigate that. So I, I don't. Uh, let me talk to you just kind of on background, um, but before I want to... Oh, you want to record I me? do, because I... I'd rather not. I mean, I, I don't want to go This on public official. information officer for the Santa Clara County Voter Registrar Office didn't want to go on record. He didn't want to go on camera, and he's a former reporter for the San Jose Mercury. He clearly was interested in who I was, and so I, of course, was also interested in who he was after this encounter. So we really didn't give it much thought, although the old craftsman did have something uh, lingering in the form of taps from the walls that night. It wasn't vermin or old pipes. These were very... Okay, on Tuesday morning, I'd like to be able to get access to something. This is going to have to go up to county council and, 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 and whatnot. I can't. Okay, I'm just, I want to get it on film. Okay. I'm being prosecuted by the Santa Clara County District Attorney for filming in a court file room. He clearly doesn't want me to know certain things. You're a former okay, reporter Susan, for the Mercury. Susan, you have to told me your CPRA request verbally. I have taken it down and we will start. No, I'm asking for access to the records, which is under the California Public Records Law. I don't have to wait 10 days. I want to know what records there are that I can get access to. Okay. And I have your information and I want to know Tuesday morning what I can see, what I can start going through because there's probably a lot of records. Okay, I'll talk to you Tuesday morning. Okay, thank you. And on Tuesday morning following President's Weekend, I will try again to get access to these records. And once I have that access, I'm going to live stream it so that everybody can see what's in the records that the public has already paid to assure. And I know what's in those records, and I know why they've been blocking my access to them.